Welcome back to the channel, Great News Lovers. Today we have a clip by the Bishop David Oyedepo where he shared on his views about domestic violence. I hope we listen and share our own thoughts on the comment section. Do you agree with him or is there something that he's saying that you don't really agree with? Personally for me, just like he said, if you are married, you people have become one and domestic violence of any kind is like you abusing yourself let's listen and be blessed don't forget to share your thoughts in the comment section and if not subscribe to this channel do well to subscribe and turn on your notification bell see you at the end of this clip when we share our thoughts it is impossible to be scripturally spiritual and not be intelligent I was meditating in the world one day and he said to me, when you are married, you and your wife have become one flesh. And if you meet a man on the street hitting himself, what do you say? He's gone bunker. So when a man is hitting his wife, it's a clear expression of madness. Madness. I mean, insanity that needs control. He told me that. I don't know about you, but he told me. And they twain shall become one flesh. That has paralyzed any temptation to make me hit my wife. Because I hate to be called mad. I don't know whether you like it, but I hate it. And the Bible said, that is madness in my own definition. Okay, after beating your wife, which prize do you get? World champion, white beaters competition? Now, after now beating your wife, you now take money on which you are fighting to go and treat her. The money was the basis for the beating. Because there was challenge on the budget. Now, after beating her, they now tell you this injection costs 5,000. The other one costs 7,000. Now, what you are fighting on is 3,000. Now, okay. Is that not madness defined? Hallelujah. Now, now, listen. Can you imagine Jesus married and kicking his wife and Peter and James are separating him? So you have a problem. And that problem has to be solved this morning. That's what Revelation does. It makes you live a dignified life. In case anybody is angry here, it is intentional. It is deliberate. I want to be angry so you can be free. Amen. So and every time he said to me, you said to your wife, you are a goat. You are only addressing Mrs. Goat because you are Mr. Goat. Amen. That's exactly what it is. Because they twain shall become what? One flesh. Now, does your wife bear your name or not? So anything you call her is the Mrs. You. You're stupid. That is Mrs. Stupid. I am Mr. Stupid. You can't think, Mr. Counting. How is talking to Mrs. Counting? You are useless. Mr. Useless is speaking to Mrs. Useless. Anything you call your wife is your name. Anything. I know some may be angry, it is deliberate. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Now, that was God taking me through the school of wisdom for home management. I had it from him. He spoke it to me. Revelation is hearing from God. Doing what? Hearing from God. He said, faith coming by hearing and hearing from God. That's why I was teaching before I got married that I'll never, I'm, I'm, that I'm set for a heat-free marriage. It entered me. The lessons of the Holy Ghost entered me. On how to enjoy a dignified married life. Don't you know it takes two people to fight? How many agree with that? He said, because my wife talks too much. He talks so rough. If a wrestler gets to the ring and he starts shouting, Come out now. I will fry you. Hey, come. And nobody comes. Won't he go home? <laughs> Amen. He will go. It takes two people. It takes two people to fight. He can't now start beating himself. I say, since nobody came, I killed myself. No, he can't. He will go home. 
And you know the answer that silence gives. No amount of grammar or debate can deliver. You are stupid. And they smile. You are crazy. The smile gets wider. Don't you know I'm talking to you? Thank you. <laughs> All the gri gri will come to an end. Is somebody blessed already here? So get ready for the lessons of the Holy Ghost. The world makes why. You can pray forever until your prayer is also in revelation. Frustration continues. Call upon me and I will answer you. And I will show you. Most of the answers from heaven is by showing you in the world what will bring the answer. He does not do it for you. He shows you. So revelation is God's response to our needs. Set yourself for an encounter in the world this month. First, I want us to start from his premise. He is actually talking to Christians, born again Christians, who are not supposed to hit their wives. That is the premise of this teaching. And there is something he said. He said, you are not supposed to hit your wife. If you hit your wife, it's like beating yourself. And anyone who is hitting him or herself is regarded as someone who is mentally not stable. Another thing he said that I really loved, thus balancing the teaching is that why he admonished men not to hit their wives, he also told women not to respond. Because most times, dom physical domestic abuse usually most times arises by the woman maybe saying something or doing something that would annoy the abuser the more. I pray that God helps us and that an end will come to every form of domestic abuse, especially in the church. God bless you as I see you next time. Please do not forget to subscribe and turn on your notification bell. See you in the next clip. Bye.